Hi Internet. So uh, today, uh, shop towels, shop rags, rags um, from old T-shirts. Uh, it is nothing like having a good rag when you're working. Paper towels, although they do sell some heavy-duty ones these days, they're expensive. So uh, why not use like old clothes uh, to make uh, some really nice shop rags? But you got to do it the right way, cause like this is like a full-blown T-shirt. And you try to use it as a rag, it's not very workable because it's like doubled over, it's got like hems on it and little sleeves sticking out. It's tough to wring out because it's so big and stuff. So what we do is chop them down. I've perfected over the years a certain way of chopping them down and I'd like to show you real quick so that you can make your own shop towels uh, number one quality and have them handy when you're working. Now, rags can be purchased, although they're expensive. Or even if they weren't expensive, it's still an expense. So, let's make our own from old t-shirts. Now, one thing I can never understand is why a grown man would wear any kind of logo on a shirt. Like, even a sports team. I mean, these are grown men. What are they wearing logos on their shirts for? Number one, you're like promoting some corporate interest, free of charge advertising. Who wants to do that? Number two, like, little kids wear like sports stuff, not grown men. I just can't see like a 40-year-old man wearing like a, like a sports thing. It's like retarded. Here's one. Clam bake, remember? And uh, this is a charity event local charity event here's just a, and this is actually a new t-shirt but it's got a logo on it I ain't wearing it this is actually a solid color shirt which I would have no trouble wearing but it's worn out it's old and it's looking kind of ratty here's one a yellow one with some kind of uh, who knows what and why would someone wear this like who knows what that is and and why would you wear it and this is just a regular t-shirt so let's let's show you how to cut them up because there's a special way to do it where you get a nice rag out of it so what you're gonna need for this is a nice utility knife with a nice sharp blade what I'll do is I'll lean against the table with my hip and I'll clamp the t-shirt in there and then I'll make my cuts cross the collar and then on the top of the sleeve there's a uh, on the top of the shoulders, there's a seam. I like to cut that. Then I cut down inside the sleeve, and I'll reposition it and clamp it with my hip. Always cutting away. We don't need any injuries doing this. Now I'll do the other sleeve. Repositioning and clamping with my hip. And I'm going to make the cut on the inside of that seam, and I'm going to cut that shoulder seam seam now I kind of have a uh, I've made a tube of tube shirt without the collar and without the sleeves so what I'm going to do is take my utility knife and choke up on it to, so the blade doesn't get hung up and this way I could stick my hand all the way through I turn the blade up and then I'll just pull it through now I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. Now, here we go. I got two nice rags that are great to use for all of those reasons. And they're basically a nice shape that they could be folded up and used for wiping down or whatever. Now there's also a seam at the bottom, which you may or may not want to trim off. But it's very easily using the hip clamp technique and the sharp utility knife blade. And we got that bottom seam off and now we have a perfect wipe down rig without any seams or loose threads on it. Now let's just really quick do these other two. Here's that other yellow t-shirt. I'm going to try to even up that collar and we'll just go through it really quick without any talking, just so you could see.
there we go. We got our two, our two decent rags out of this one. Now these are nice cotton t-shirts and cotton is the best for rags. We don't want any blends if we can help it because cotton is like super absorbent where a blend may be like half absorbent. Now this one's a little different. This is like a tank top. So of course we don't have all the sleeves to deal with but still I'm going to want to make the cut like across here so I get these two seams and that collar off. So again I'm going to like even it up. <coughs> I'm just going to start cutting and using the hip clamp technique. I'm going to get these uh, seams out. I don't like seams in a wipe down rig. There we go. And now it's basically a tube. So we're going to get that utility knife through there. And we're going to cut the two sides using the technique that I've previously okay so here's our uh, tank top made into two decent co cotton lint free cotton rags wipe down the camera so just a real quick vid for the internet to show you how to use old cotton hopefully cotton clothes to make some really nice shop towels